Okay, are we ready for action? Or what? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing something super exciting. I'm finally trying out my artiste brushes, like all 10 of them, all over the face. It's gonna be a really fun time. I got them for Christmas if you watch my birthday haul and I've just been waiting forever to try them. Today is finally the big day. But before I get started, I wanna give you like a little bit of information about them because they're just kind of like a new thing. So I'm just gonna tell you a little bit about how Artiste is different. Here we go. It says, uniform application, makeup applies more uniformly due to the Cosma fiber, which is what it's made out of. It's really soft material. Superior blending. Uh, the cheapest, I guess, you get better control. They don't set up the product, they're cleaner shape. They're versatile, helps avoid sensitiveness, cruelty free. Uh, Chocolate resistant, uh, wears longer, apparently. <laughs> and it says, duration of the old application of makeup, comfortable fit, modern construction. And this list goes on and on. Basically, they're the hottest new shit right now, so we're gonna try them. <laughs> I don't even know like where to get started because I don't know what's so new. I guess I'll open the box, right? Okay, so I have the Elite Mirror Collection. They come in two other colors, I'm pretty sure. They come in like a black um, and like another color, but I got the ones that are just like mirrored. And it's so funny because like, when I got them and like put them on like Twitter and like stuff like that, people were like, why did you get spoons for Christmas? Oh my god, I didn't get spoons. There's 10 brushes in it, 5 face, and 5 eye. I have this big one here, which is the... Hmm. This is the Oval 10. I feel like everyone's talking about this. This and the Oval 8 seem to be what everyone's after. So... Oh my god, it's so soft. <laughs> okay, F10. And then here's the F8. A little smaller in comparison. Did I just say the F8? I'm thinking Sigma. Okay, that other one is the Oval 8. I'm tripping. <laughs> this one here is the Oval 6. It looks like it could be good for concealer, maybe. Like under here. Oval 4. Finally, the oval three. Okay, moving on to eye brushes on the other side. Okay, this is the linear six. Looks like a toothbrush, kind of, to me. Like, see, you see that? Wait. Wait. That looks kind of toothbrushy. But I guess it'd be great for, like, putting in... We'll see. The linear eight, it's a little bit thinner, a little bit slimmer. And then we have the linear one, which is a little thinner. Moving on to these little circle ones, they're super cute! You're too cute! Okay, so this is the circle 1R. Interesting. It's got a little circular tip. It's a little rounded off. Um, a little more rounded off there. It's not like flat like the other ones were. Um, and then the last brush in the set is the circle one, and this is like the same shape as this, but with the flat uh, top. And I guess we're gonna get on started. Okay, I'm gonna prime my face and be right back. So I guess I'm gonna try to follow my normal routine, just with different brushes. So I always start with eyes. So I guess here we go. <laughs> I'm going to be using the semi-sweet chocolate bar palette by Too Faced. So I'm going to go in with the... No. Yeah? Yeah. I'm going to go in with the Linear 6. I'm going to pick up this shade... Pudding. It's like a cool brown. I guess I'm just gonna dip my brush in it. This is kind of weird. <laughs> and you're supposed to hold them with your hand against it like this. So it's kind of like mimicking your finger. And so I guess here goes nothing. <laughs> oh, this is actually like. 
giving a really nice like kind of like a cut crease effect do you know what i'm saying and that's just my transition shade it's like actually pretty easy to hold too and this is blending my colors out actually pretty nicely i'm impressed The brush is curved like toward you so you can kind of get a little more control which I really like actually and I feel comfortable using it this is actually like really comfortable okay now I'm gonna grab that circular one with the rounded one this is the circle IR that first shade with it oh my gosh these are laying the color all the way down for me right now like, no problem depositing all of it. Like, right where I put it. I actually really like this. I'm actually really loving this right now. It's good for, like, precision work. And it's really blending out the shades nicely. Getting, like, right here. Like, right up in here where I need it to be blended out and, like, feathered out. I'm just kind of using like normal motions like I really normally would back and forth and which that looks really good oh my god it's like I'm just so intrigued like it's crazy it's really working like I didn't even know what I was expecting going into this but they're really working I've been using these for like 10 years like I feel like I can just do it so fluidly this is so comfortable they're so comfortable like in the hand seriously it looks so good like I can really just do my thing do you know what I'm saying like I don't even know if I know what I'm saying okay for the lid color let's go ahead and grab this the little like flat circular one this is the circle one Oh, this one's interesting. I'm not really sure how to spoil it into the product. Like, I'm kind of, like, using little circular motions. And I'm kind of, like, trying to pat it on my eye. Because I guess with these brushes, you're not supposed to, like, pat, 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 pat. You're supposed to, like, sweep. Which, like, isn't what I'm used to doing. Ew which isn't what I'm used to doing on my lid. So it's like kind of foreign, but I mean, it's working out. Like it's depositing the color like any other conventional brush would. Oh, this is so cool. This is actually so cool, guys. Like I can't right now. I take that same linear four. I think I'm getting the hang of this like so fast. Like I just started and I feel like I'm already a pro. <laughs> but I mean seriously, well, like I'm, I'm just using the eye ones right now. We have no idea what we're going, to, we're, what we're getting ourselves into with the face brushes. But so far, I can dig the eye brushes. I'm like not having any kind of fallout either like because I'm using that like kind of swiping motion I'm not having any fallout like I was expecting to be like so much like going on in my eye but there's like nothing it's all sitting on the lid like I am so I'm honestly so impressed with how easy it is to use these and I'm sorry I keep saying that but like I thought this was going to be like a project and a half trying to get this like filmed. Yeah, 
It does kind of feel like I'm using a toothbrush on my eye. <laughs> mm, circle one R with like the rounded edge again to just blend these edges out. I don't know. I just, I'm so, I'm impressed. I'm like speechless right now. Like just with how easily things are going for me with these brushes. Like look at me, I'm just like, oh blend, huh? I gotta blend. Blend, blend, blend. Like it's just no, there's nothing different. These feel so comfortable in my hand. There is this little linear brush. I, I'm tempted to do eyeliner with it. Okay, let's give it a shot, why not? Like, why not? <laughs> okay, I grabbed my um, Maybelline gel liner just in black, and we're gonna see how this goes. But I'm kind of, I'm not really nervous, cause like this brush is so thin, like and so, like, uh, what am I trying to say? Like pointed and small and flat. Only weird thing, it's like how do I dip it into the product? I'm not really sure like how to get product on efficiently so far it's not terrible but I don't know if I feel confident enough to do a wing with it right now just because like it's not really I don't know I'm not like too familiar enough with the shape to feel comfortable enough doing that but this is like really nice for smudging on my eyeliner so I'm gonna go ahead and keep doing that and it like got right up against the lash line I was just like Whoa. like didn't really have to do anything didn't have to really move the brush at all to really get it to blend it was just kind of like doing it for me so I guess I'll go ahead and do the other eye But I usually have to do like this weird angle to get like my eyeliner to work on my with my other hand. But this I can just like be so comfortable because like the extendo part is so long and it's like bent towards me. So I have like so much more control and I'm just like, yes. Man. I'm gonna grab the oval eight. Just because it's a little bit smaller than the 10 and I don't I don't want to like oh, it's so big on my face like I have a little forehead I can't use it on my forehead like it'd be like trying to get my eyebrows so I'm gonna use this on the face and probably switch to another one up here maybe depending on where we go so for foundation today I'm gonna use the Marc Jacobs Genius Gel I am in love you're not supposed to put the product directly onto the brush you're supposed to like kind of dip it, but I'm just gonna put the foundation directly on my face and then go from there. And that should be enough for a little more than half of the face. Okay, ready? Here we go. And again, you're supposed to slide it and not pat. So, here we go. It's weird, but I like it. Oh my goodness, it's so soft. Oh, and it's like taking no time to blend out the product. Oh, and I can like get right around my brows. <laughs> I like this so far. Oh, mmm. I love this. I am loving this brush. Like, this foundation already has amazing, amazing coverage. And 
this is just making it 10 times that. I mean, honestly. And I was so worried about like getting streaks on my face from like dragging it. You know, like, cause you're not supposed to drag shit on your face. Like, no streak nation in here. Like, I can like finesse with this. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, I am so impressed. It's all blended out at this point. I just like to feel it on my face now. I'm like, ooh, I like having a moment with this oval six. <laughs> oh my gosh. I am so impressed. Cause I didn't even know what to expect, honestly, but. <laughs> it's so soft. Okay, for concealer, I'm gonna go with my Maybelline Fit Me, my favorite of all life. We have talked about this. This, I'm like nervous about actually. Like this, I feel like, is where it could get streaky. If it was. But I mean, if it's anything like the... Um, other brush I just tried, it shouldn't really matter. Because I have no streaks on my face. I just have a flawless, like... It looks almost airbrushed. It's crazy, like... <laughs> I'm really happy. To blend out the concealer, I'm gonna go in with the Oval 6. In case you were wondering what I'm looking at, the names are like printed, like engraved here, so I'm like, mm. Okay, here we go. Wow. Wow. This is where I was really scared, and I had absolutely no reason to be. It is just moving the product around like it's butter, like. Oh my goodness. And that's that. I was reading the comments on another video I was watching about someone being worried about these brushes uh, causing wrinkles because they pull on your face, but they don't pull on your face. I mean like, yeah, you drag it across, like you're you use a different motion than you're used to, but I mean like the material that these brushes are made out of is so incredibly soft, you guys, that like I could use as much force like as my hand could put out and drag it across my face and my like it wouldn't pull my skin. Do you know what I mean? Like that's what I'm trying to say. Like it's so soft that it's not gonna pull your skin, no matter even if you have the heaviest of hands. Like the material, it's just not gonna happen. That took me about two seconds to blend and if I was using my regular stippling brush it would have taken me like I don't know maybe like seven minutes for both eye eyes also how exact was seven minutes like come on I'll start oh my god yay no like you don't understand I've been trying to hang out with my friend for like the past four months like <laughs> we just have like different schedules so it's like hard to get together but he's finally off work next week and he just texted me so it's like hallelujah i've um started using these brushes like, <laughs> like i just am a professional now I haven't even been talking. I feel so bad. But like, this is just so effortless. Like, I don't even have to think about it anymore. I'm just like, oh, okay, I'm blending. Cool. It's just like, oh, I'm gonna blend this out. Like, it doesn't even feel like a first impressions anymore. Like, I feel like a seasoned vet. Okay, now that that's all done, I'm gonna move on to my contour. And I always use my Fashion Fair Stick and Teak. We know this. We're used to this. We know. I'm gonna use that same F6, so I'm gonna grab my Clinique like, makeup spot cleaner and just like uh, rub the brush on my towel here and like spray on my brush a little bit. Like, because these like have a cleaner, like an Artiste brand cleaner, but like I have this one 
and it's really good, so I'm just gonna use it. This, I don't really know how to how to do. I'm gonna like try to do the swirling motions, but we'll see. Hold this wow, this is like so easy. Like I don't know why I'm trying to make it hard, but it's so easy. Like I'm gonna go back with this and just like blend it all in. Is this the right one? Yes. Blend it in here. Like, oh my goodness, that line is like, like. <laughs> it creates like more of a stronger contour. <laughs> But I ain't even mad. You know, like, I quite like a strong contour, so I'm like, this is right on my alley, you feel me? Gosh, I am so impressed with these brushes, you guys. Like, <sighs> these brushes really are not soaking up any of my product at all. Like, all the foundation I put on my face is on my face. Nothing's in the brush. And I know that because when I was, like, just wiping it off just now, it all... Like, nothing really came off, except for, like, the little surface part, but then it was all clean. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, that was crazy. Like, I'm so taken aback. Like, this just looks so good. Oh, my goodness. You're supposed to be able to use um, powders with these as well, so I'm going to go in and just set my concealer. Grab my black opal loose powder and just put some on the top. I'm not going to use the swirling motion because I don't want to move around the cream. So I just put some powder on there, I just kind of dipped it in and I'm just going to like pat it in. Just so impressed. I'm going to move on to the rest of the face before I sit here and like look at myself in the mirror. For the rest of the video. I guess blush is next. It's like bright, bright pink. <laughs> but I'm just gonna take a little on this. I'm gonna go gentle handed. Pat it in. Oh, it looks good. For highlighter, I'm going to take a uh, Rose Gold by Becca on this Oval 4. It's like weird using powder products with this. Just because like I don't want to rub off my cream stuff. And also, oh, I just uh, am used to using like my fan brush for this step, so I'm feeling kind of like a fish out of water. I don't know, I think it's doing a pretty good job. It's not like, maybe I'm just not seeing, maybe on camera it's a little better, but I don't know. I feel like it's more streaky, like it's more like just in a line on my face as opposed to like when I use a fan brush. So I'm gonna place it on the other one, but then I'm probably just going with my fan brush and like blend it out. Okay, so I'm gonna go finish up like my mascara and lipstick, and I'll be right back to give you my final thoughts on these brushes. Okay. Okay, I finished up my makeup on camera. On my lips, I have the NYX lip liner and prune just all around my lips. And then in the middle, I have this Urban Decay uh, Revolution lipstick in the shade Naked. So I'm just going back to give you my like final thoughts on the brushes. First of all, I love them. I really do. Like, I was just kind of coming in expecting... I don't really know, but I'm pleasantly surprised. More than pleasantly surprised. I am blown away by these brushes. So a few standouts for me are definitely the F8 for the face. 
definitely perfect size i want to try the f10 it's just a little big for me you know i'll give it a try uh sooner or later but this definitely my number one for the face so this is the oh my god guys call us the f8 again the oval eight this is not sigma this is artiste and then i also enjoyed the oval four for the concealer and for my contour and then on the eyes i was so pleasantly surprised this little round this circle r one r i love that i just feel like blending it blended everything just so perfectly like it really did like precision work like getting a little like crease and like do work you feel like the linear six for like that transition shade it really got it in there it really made like crisp clean lines i think this would be good for like someone to do a cut crease with if you're not really sure how to do it with like your conventional brush so yeah that's all i have to say about that um i'm definitely gonna keep trying them out and you'll see them make appearances uh in the in the very near future so yeah i hope i provide enough information for you if you have any questions let me know down in the comments i'll answer anything you want me to answer um come back later i guess for more i don't really have a schedule yet so later but yeah bye thanks for watching